Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill, fighting out of Black Lion Academy. Throughout my entire career, I've stood for one thing, and it's dominance. I'm locked in, I'm on a mission. I want to be the greatest ever. I'm not content, I'm not settling, I'm not happy. I'll be happy whenever I have everything that I've been dreaming of. breathe my mind is different the way i see things is different i've never lost a fight i feel like i'm really good i'm really on the cusp of what i need to do i feel like all i need to do is just be seen by the world and the rest will take care of itself and that's attributed to the work that i put in i don't train just to win or beat somebody or just hang in there with somebody i train to dominate i'm coming for punishment i'm coming to break people We heard the story in his feature of Jamal Hill, born in Chicago, now fighting out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. His brother Jordan, back in 2017, passing away in a car accident. Uh, a fighter that, as he says, fueled his passion for martial arts. He turned to mixed martial arts after he saw some UFC action, said, that's what I want to do. And here he is with the most important eyes on him tonight. The tail of the tape for this light heavyweight matchup. Hill is one year older at 28, is also one inch taller, standing six feet, four inches tall. The big advantage for Jamal Hill lies with a five inch reach advantage. First round ready? Jamal, ready? Lights on. Touch of the gloves and we're underway for three possible rounds at 205 pounds. Perhaps a big body kick. Return up top to Hill. There's a high kick he likes. Body kick that time. That hurt him. That hurt Poppy. You see his hip. You see his elbow go in a little bit. Yep. Left landed flush from Popic. It goes for more, eats a knee to the body. Huge power shot, Dom, that really might sway this fight or end it. Which these guys are fighting too. You don't see a lot of running back and forth. These guys are facing each other, kicking each other, <laughs> punching each other square to square. I mean, they're just, they're unloading, almost like a Muay Thai match kind of, just staring at each other. Who can hit each other harder? Well, they've seen what the other has. Combination that time finished with a kick from Hill. The combination is Hill blitzes forward. Hill just looking a little sharper with the with the punch count, the combinations that he's looking for, the forward pressure. He's looking a little bit more active in the second round. Still leading with that left cross. <laughs> Steps in with another knee and an uppercut. Oh, continues to go to the body, and that one hurt Popic. Big shot. And now Hill knows it. Ooh, big shots to the gut. See Popic guarding his midsection as Hill fires a right hand to it. And slips in a combination. Three times over. And a knee as he dips in. And for the first time, this fight goes to the mat. But Popic is on the wrong end of it now. On his way up. Nice knee on the flinch right away. Knee to the body several times. Oh, the close to being done in this one. And it's Jamal Hill staying busy. It's looking like Popek wants out of there, guys. Down and pound now as Popek covers up. And Jamal Hill round and pounds his way to the finish. Line him up. Elbows, knees, kicks, punches. This man's serious. 
Well, Zane, another fun night of fights, some battles, some finishes, and a crazy KO. Let's get to who's uh, who's making it to the UFC. All right, let's start with Billy. Kept the pressure on, kept moving forward, wanted to win the fight, and willed it, willed it to happen. Get over here, Billy. Billy Quintello. All right, so in the second fight, the first thing... When the fight started, the first thing I said about Jamal is this kid needs more experience. You know, he, he's, he's only got uh, five fights. He's 5-0. and oh. You know, this kid can work on his game, and he can, he, he can become a really good fighter. I think this kid can be talented someday. Then, in the second round, he comes out and shows me a completely different fighter. All right, so the second round, body work, the striking, the pressure, the composure. You know, he put it all together in that second round and completely changed my mind. And I said, okay, I'm bringing this kid in. Come on, Jamal. What? You're a fighter. You dream of getting your shot. One chance at glory. Grand Rapids fighter Jamal Hill is getting his. He just signed with Dana White and the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Hill is 6-0 and as a pro. He took part in a UFC Contender Series and scored a second round TKO in a match against Alexander Popek. He was so impressive, White offered him a contract and a chance to be on a future UFC fight card. I mean, I'm ambitious, so my, my goal is to be the greatest to ever do it. You know, I want to be, I want my name recognized whenever they say, oh, you know, who was the greatest uh, fighter of all time? Oh, Jamal. Yeah, I'm making my UFC debut uh, January 25th, Raleigh, North Carolina, fighting against uh, Darko Stosic. A uh, guy out of he's Serbian, he's like he's Serbian. He's from out of Serbia. He's a uh, he's pretty good. I mean, but this UFC, everybody's good. You know what I'm saying, otherwise he wouldn't be here. So just stay stay the course of what I what I've been doing. Like I said after uh after after I won in the Contender Series, line them up, line them up, line them up, send them my way. I'm where <laughs> I'm not worried at all. Send them my way. You know, man, at the end of the day, you, you you don't have to believe in me. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. If you get in there with me, you're going to feel me. A lot of people will. A lot of people will about to feel me. Jamal Hill breaks in his UFC contract tonight, and what a way he earned it in the second round with a stoppage victory last summer. Oh, absolutely. He fights the way he walked in there, full of swag and bad intentions. On his way to his Octagon debut tonight, Jamal Hill. There's that swagger as he enters BNC Arena. Here at all, he certainly means a lot to a man. Surprise, big down for smiling because Jamal Hill just has an infectious energy to him. Whoa. Whoa. With that backward somersault, athletic. Difference in snap on the kick. Don't go through the kick and it was, you know, it's all right. But with Jamal doing the kick, it was fast. Shuffle footwork and body head and then a kick. And Jamal Hill to start the second round. Yeah, Jamal's got a real peck in his step, working the body, fainting with the feet there, a little skipping movement. Talking about the impression here is the crowd. Turns to his back and another big lock for Dunko. Combinations though is Hill showing a bit more urgency here. The crowd is definitely enjoying this round. in Las Vegas this weekend. And Grand Rapids' own Jamal Hill is on that card. He fights Clinton Abreu in a light heavyweight bout. In his last fight, he was taken down six times. Oh! Jamal Hill, but look at that! Right, right away! Big D! Jamal Hill wasting no time. Jamal, sweet dreams, yeah! 
to the Sweet Dreams era. So your last fight, obviously, you look sensational getting the win, but unfortunately it was overturned due to that, you know, positive test of weed. As someone who's been through that whole scenario, how do you feel about them them weed laws and how they can potentially change them moving forward? I think it's fucking stupid. It's bad. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not the person you want to ask that. I think it's dumb as hell. I think everything that I've had to deal with as a result of that is dumb as fuck. And, um... Yeah, I didn't think they need to find focused energy on things that actually matter and not goofy shit like that. And when it comes to the stuff like that, you've got you've got this really impressive win, and then they, they take it away. If you have something so minor, how how is that from an athlete's point of view? It's it's extremely irritating. You know, it's something that I got to walk around with on my record. Which, in fact, and just to clear the record, I did not smoke in competition. I smoked four weeks before that. You know, um, out of competition before I even took the fight. When I took the fight. I stopped smoking immediately. And somehow in their test, it came back that my levels were too high. Even after the UFC did an investigation, tested my old samples and showed them the difference in the levels and everything, they still went ahead and decided to suspend me, find me, put me through all this other bullshit. So it's annoying as fuck, bro. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to keep looking back on it. I'm just pushing forward. You know, I got a good future ahead of me and I'm focused on that. Introducing first, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now introducing his opponent, Ovis St. Pru! Ovin St. Pru, plus 160 underdog. Fight. Jamal Hill is the minus 190 betting favorite. He's just having trouble finding Ooh. the range, but now, just as I say that, he clips him with a right hand. He's touching him to the body. He's getting his range more and more. That's that's a smart plan by Jamal Hill to go to the body right now. Oh, body kick lands for St. Prue and a nice counter from Jamal Hill. And I believe OSB, when we interviewed him this week, did talk about that calf kick being a weapon that he was going to utilize in this fight. You see early on, he's going for it. It, it does damage very fast. It doesn't take long. It does not take many kicks for you to start feeling that. Round two coming up. Back live, round two of this co-main event between... 15th ranked open St. Prue and the undefeated Jamal Hill. We haven't seen any real takedown attempts at OSP, so he's okay with just standing. He looks like on this whole fight. He's kicks. Ooh, he's got nice that, though. He's getting closer and closer to Jamal Hill because we're seeing OSP keep his head straight up. He's not really moving his head a lot. And this is what Jamal Hill wants. He's got to stop. He's got to hurt the fence. Oh, big right hand. Man, St. Prue had a lot of big shots in that exchange ball. Uh, every time he goes right-handed, he's taking damage. Oh, he's defending oh, and it's a man. defensive thing. He doesn't see the shots coming. Oh, huge right hand there. there. I think he's, he's out of here right now. Stop. He's going to get stopped. He's done. Oh, wow. St. Prue oh, gets it finished done. by Jamal Hill. And Whoa. a mouthpiece goes flying. Bro. Jamal Hill still undefeated. He said this week Ovin St. Prue is just another victim, and that's exactly what he was. Sweet dreams. Jamal Hill gets it done tonight. And, John, 
You're with Jamal Hill, buddy. Take it away. I am with the newly minted light heavyweight contender, Jamal Hill. Still hey. undefeated, man. Hey, congratulations. You did not miss a whole lot tonight. I think you landed close to 60% of your strikes. Biggest win of your career. I'd Sorry. imagine you're feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty good. You know, uh, OSP is a legend. Uh, he's been around the sport for a long time, seasoned vet. He was a tough test. He pushed me to a, a limit that, you know, I haven't been pushed to before. I just keep evolving, man. I'm going to keep getting better. Everybody keep talking about my game, this and that. Keep watching, bro, because y'all obviously ain't paying attention. Keep watching. And again, really just touching him, Jamal, not necessarily trying to empty the gas tank, and, and you got him out of there on the feet. Yeah. I just, from t I mean, that's what we call it. Touch him up university, man. Take that's him right. to the U. Hey, before I let you go, I don't know if you saw on the screen there, but John Jones, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, twice now has tweeted in acknowledgement of your win here tonight. So some pretty good company there that was impressed by your performance, young man. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been watching John for a long time. Uh, he, he's pushed me, too. You know, um, I need to chase greatness. I need, I need greats to come after. You know what I mean? And for a long time, he's been that great that I've been coming after. And, uh, yeah, he's doing his own thing and whatever, and I, I wish him well and all of that. But I'm going to do my thing here when it comes. I said before, when it comes time for me to step up to those greats like that, I'm going to be ready. specifically called and asked them for make sure they kept the same match intact purposely you know what i'm saying that being said i'm, I'm having some complications with COVID. you know i got i caught i contracted COVID a little over a week ago and uh this shit ain't been going fucking good for me you know i've been fucking, i had i started out with a fever i've been dealing with all type of symptoms ever since then including chest tightness con con uh, chest congestion you know uh my breathing is off and uh, even as recent as yesterday, I was coughed, I coughed up blood. For Paul Craig to even sit up and say I pulled out and even make it seem like that, like it's any type of fear in my heart, that's disrespectful as fuck to me. And you gonna feel that shit, real talk. 